Round nine. In a world of shit, what filmmaker often ended his work with a note of aesthetic transcendence? Professor. Stanley Kubrick. We have a winner! Okay, class, here we have uh, Stanley Cuba. It's a film that's superficially about a photographer living in Brooklyn, but underneath it's a parody, a meta parody of all the Stanley Kubrick films put together. And uh, uh, here we have Dr. Strangelove, and here we have a model from Eyes Wide Shut. And over here we have uh, the girls from uh, The Shining that are stalking Stanley Cuba in his own apartment building. And, anyways, um, this film is. It's a parody of a parody, I think, or, you know, this meta parody that kind of transcends uh, the nature of parody itself, which I'm really excited about. And these these are kind of lawyers that chase him. Professor? Uh, yeah. What's this movie about? Okay. A film doesn't need to be about anything. It's only superficially about something. Um, underneath, it's not about anything, um, which is kind of a mystery of the whole thing. Um, the uh, there's, a, there's kind of a natural dialectic between the realm of about and another term, which we'll go over next time. The antithesis of about um, you know this great struggle of filmmaking with you know the search for meaning when there may not it be. Looks weird. Okay, meaning can be an antithesis of the word about, um, and there's a struggle between the need for weird and the need for about. Um, but if you go with weird, you just kind of have to go with it and just just you know write it and uh, you know just watch the film.